Hey everyone, welcome into One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today I am doing a PSA reveal. We have 25 cards and it's got a little bit of baseball. It's got a little bit of football. I believe there's even some soccer in there. And all of these cards were submitted by Patreons. One of the benefits of being a Patreon of my channel is I will submit cards for you at no additional charge beyond what PSA charges. So if it's a $15 charge for PSA, that's what it's going to cost you. But I handle all of the paperwork. I handle all of the shipping to and from. And all I ask for in, re in return is you let me do a PSA reveal video. So if you are interested in becoming a Patreon, there's a lot of other benefits you can get, such as Discord community access. That's how you get into my breaks. You can get break credits, monthly packs, retail restock links, so much more. And all you have to do is click on the video description and go look for the link that will take you to my Patreon page where you can find out about all of the benefits of being a Patreon. You can join for as little as $2 and I invite you to check it out. But now let's get into the PSA reveal. So I've got three Patreons in here that have cards and some of my personal cards are in here. We have submissions from John W, Nick D and Victor H, but I believe my cards are first. So we'll start there. So this first card is a 2018 Panini Diamond Kings. It is actually a Shohei Otani rookie card, but it also features Babe Ruth, a card that I've always wanted to get graded. I thought it was a very cool card. So let's see what this one comes in at. It comes in the Panini Diamond Kings past and present insert comes in at a mint nine. So we get a mint nine, kind of a tough card to grade only because of the texture that the card has and whatnot it's as panini diamond kings is not a standard card stock it's a little bit of like a vellum stock so we get a mint nine like that one and we'll keep track of how many nines we get and tens we get see if there's any eights hopefully not but we'll see so this next one is actually a tops now card i like this one there's actually going to be two of them in a row that are just like this so we get the Bobby Witt Jr. Julio Rodriguez, second pair of rookies in MLB history to post 20 home runs, 20 stolen base campaigns. I got a couple of these graded just because I, I believe in Bobby Witt and Julio. So the first one out of the two, going to be a gem mint 10. Beautiful one right there. So we get a gem mint 10. The black border sometimes on these tops now cards from 2022 a little bit hard to grade so let's see what the second one gets same exact card none of these are numbered just thought that having a couple of these graded would be kind of cool only because you don't see two big rookies like this on the same card at the same time a lot so our next one also comes in at a gem mint 10 so very cool there love that we get two tens in the Bobby Witt and Julio. Again, these are all mine, but when we get to the Patreons, we'll show you those. So this one, this is from the National. This is from the Rapper Redemption that they did if you were at the National. This is a Bobby Witt Jr. rookie card. This is the base, but it is a refractor. All of the cards were refractors. So let's see what the Bobby Witt Jr. comes in for the 2022 National Rapper Redemption program. This card going to come in at a gem mint 10. So three tens and a nine. We're off to a good start. I believe this next one is also from the national. It is. It is the rapper redemption, but this is the O'Neill Cruz rookie card base. So let's see what the O'Neill Cruz comes in at. Again, it's from the 2022 national rapper redemption packs. And this one comes in at a gem mint 10. So we get a gem mint 10 there. So we're at four tens, one nine. And then our next card, it's going to be a 2022. This is a Bowman mega box. This is an Oswaldo Cabrera first Bowman. It is numbered 101 out of 225. It's the aqua refractor. So let's see what the Oswaldo Cabrera comes in at. 
it comes in at a mint nine. So we get a nine there. Not too bad. Would have liked to have seen that one gem up, but not really sure why it didn't. The centering on it's pretty nice. You'd probably have to look at surface, which is the one area where I'm a little weak when I judge my cards going in. So our next card, we go back to the rapper redemption. This is the Marcelo Mayer from 2022 National Redemption Packs. The Marcelo Mayer going to come in at a gem mint 10. So we've got a gem mint 10 there. Very nice one. Like the Marcelo Mayer had a great season in the minors. Our next one. Going to be a gold foil. This is actually from Topps 2020. This is Topps Update. This is his rookie debut card, but it is a gold foil. Kind of tough to get, and I thought it was really nice when I sent it in. Thought it had a chance at gemming up, so let's see what it gets. It's the gold foil rookie debut, Jordan Alvarez, and it comes in at a mint nine. So the mint nine... Kind of a little disappointing, but not too bad. Probably a little bit of something was centering up here, possibly, but I thought it had a good chance. These gold foil cards, tough to gem up. So we get a nine there. So we're three nines and five tens. Our next one, going back to the national redemption packs. We have the Jordan Lawler. I've gotten a lot of these graded just because I liked the set. And it's loaded. If you can get some of the packs, they are absolutely loaded. Fun packs to rip. So let's see what the Jordan Lawler 2022 Bowman Chrome National Sports Card Convention gets. It gets a mint nine. So we get a mint nine there. So we've got four nines now. And then we have our next card, which is going to be a warming Bernabelle. And this will be a 2022 Bowman Sapphire Base. Warming uh, uh, was one of the sleepers from the Bowman set earlier in the year and then had a great minor league season. So he's been hot. So I said, hey, go ahead and send it in. We'll see what it gets. It gets a mint nine. So we're five tens and five nines. This one I thought might get a nine centering, maybe just a little bit bottom heavy and also maybe a little bit left heavy, but I thought it had a chance at a 10. So I took a chance, but I get the nine. So the next card back to the national. Now this one is a gold Francisco Alvarez. This one will be numbered 31 out of 50. So it's the gold rapper redemption from the national this year, the gold going to come in at a mint nine would have loved to have seen that one gem up. Not quite sure what's wrong. You'd probably have to look at surface or edges. I thought it had a good chance, but we get a nine. So now we got six nines and five tens. The next card. We've got Spencer Strider. Now I was taking a chance on the fact that he would win, win rookie of the year, but he did not. So I sent this in as kind of a rookie of the year gamble. It did not pay off, but it is the gold minted 2022 tops fire Spencer Strider. And the card comes in at another mint nine. So I'm hitting a lot of nines, but we got it. We got still got five tens. So we get the Spencer Strider and those are all of mine. Now these next cards, these are going to be from John W. And he sent in a lot of football. So let's see what we get there. So we start. Now these are all from 2022 Luminance. And that's going to be a Panini brand, obviously. This is a Malik Willis year one auto. I don't think it's, no, it is not numbered. So let's see the Malik Willis on card auto. It is the variation. That's what it is. The year one signature RPS variation comes in at a mint nine. So we're getting a lot of nines. I think that's up to eight. Is it? Yeah, that's up to eight nines and five tens. So our gem rate not doing too hot on this submission. 
But let's see if we can get that up a little bit higher. Our next card going to be a Drake London rookie card from Luminance. Year one. And this one for John W. Going to come in. At a gem mint 10. So we get off the nine snide. We get a 10 in there. So we get the Drake London coming in at a gem mint 10. Congrats on that one, John. All these cards right now are from Patreon John W. And if you haven't done so already, throw over to first, hit that like button for me, subscribe, do all those fun things. We'll show you this uh, Jahan Dotson and Chris Olave, Penn State and Ohio State, Luminance Year One. And I believe that this one is, yeah, the dual signature luminance. So remember, all of these cards were submitted by Patreons, and I submitted them at no additional cost for Patreon. So if that's something you're interested in, just hit the video the, uh, description and click the link that you're going to see in there for my Patreon page and I can submit cards for you at no additional charge. But in the meantime, the 2022 Luminance going to come in at a gem mint 10. So the dual auto Olave and Dotson, nice one to have gem up right there. Olave obviously having a great season down there in New Orleans this year for his rookie campaign. So we've got seven tens and eight nines. Our next one going to be a Desmond Ryder. And this is a green ink auto year one. I don't think, yeah, this one is not numbered, but it is the green ink variation. So the Desmond Ryder, green ink, another gem mint 10. So John riding a gem mint 10 wave. So that gets us back to even. So we're at a 50% gem rate. Our next one going to be the green ink Malik Willis year one. Now this one is not the variation. We saw the variation earlier. So this one, the green ink going to come in at another gem mint 10. So John does fantastic. Gets, I think that was four gem mints in one nine for his submission. Now, this next card, we're going over to soccer, and I believe this was, no, I don't believe, this was submitted by Victor H. So, Victor is going to have a few cards in here, and this one is soccer. Now, as I always say on the channel, I don't know much about soccer, but this is a 2021-22 Topps Merlin Chrome UEFA uh, Champions League Jamal Musiala, I believe is how you pronounce it. It is a blue shimmer. It is numbered 41 out of 75. I have no idea how good this guy is. I don't know much about soccer, but I'll submit him for you. Let's see what the Jamal comes in at. The Musiala blue shimmer going to come in at a mint nine. So we get a mint nine there. So we're back to a 50% gem rate. And the next card from Victor going to be of course, in Eduardo Garcia, he's working on the rainbow. So here we have the green shimmer. This is from 2021 Bowman. I believe that's uh, Bowman Chrome. Yeah, it is Bowman Chrome. This is the green shimmer. Going to be numbered, should be on here somewhere. There it is, 46, 46 out of 99. Most greens are out of 99 for Bowman. So the green shimmer comes in at a mint nine. So we get another nine for Victor. And then we have another Eduardo Garcia. And this one's going to be the auto on card refractor, of course, from 2021 Bowman. So we get the refractor auto numbered 75 out of 499. Eduardo Garcia, another mint nine. Not sure on this one. The only thing I see on this one is it's maybe a little bit top heavy. But other than that, a very clean card. But we'll take the nine for Victor. And then Victor also, Victor does have one more card in here, but I guess I want to get them all together. Oh, here's Vic. Here it is. I knew he had another one. Or actually, you know what? He's got, there we go. I think we're looking to do it that way. I had it, I had it out of order. I knew he had the Elijah Moore. So he's got the Elijah Moore. And this is the Silver Prism rookie card. Elijah Moore was off to a good start to his rookie campaign, then got injured. 
but has a bright future for the Jets. So we've got 2021 Panini Select, and it comes in at a mint nine. So we get a mint nine on the Elijah Moore. So we are less than a 50% gem rate. I think we got three more nines than we do have tens. So that was for Victor. Now these last ones, these are going to be for Nick D. And Nick D submitted four cards. This one going to be a 2020 Bowman, Michael Harris. Very cool card right here. Rookie of the year. So we've got his first Bowman and it is an on-card auto. It is the base. And the Michael Harris going to come in at a mint nine. So we get a nine on the Michael Harris. So that one for Nick D, congrats on that one. Beautiful card to get there, especially now that he's rookie of the year. So our next one going to be Vaughn Grisham, another Braves prospect from 2020. Here's his first Bowman. The Vaughn Grisham prospect auto comes in at a gem mint 10. So we're back on the gem mint 10 train and we get the Vaughn Grisham coming in for Nick D at a 10. Congrats on that one, Nick. All right, our next card going to be 2022 breakout star Andreas Jimenez. This one is the 2018 Bowman first auto. Now, this one, I don't believe it's going to gem up. You can kind of see right just by looking at the card that it's a little bit left heavy here. So we'll see what it comes in at. And for the Andreas Jimenez, this is going to be his base chrome auto. We get a near mint eight. So it comes in at an eight, which probably means they dinged it for the centering. And if there's anything else with surface or anything like that, it will bring it down to an eight. So that's probably what happened here. Would have to look a little closer at the corners, but we do get the eight. So for our final card, we have a Jordan Lawler, and this is going to be a 2021 Bowman Ray Wave, black and white, and this is his first Bowman. Jordan Lawler, obviously one of the big prospects to come out of 2021 Bowman draft. And so this is the black and white Ray Wave. Those are not, yeah, these were not numbered. So let's see what we get. The Jordan Lawler coming in for Nick at a gem mint 10. So we get the Gem Mint 10. If we're going to have any one of those cards outside of maybe the Michael Harris, would have loved to have seen that one come in at a 10. But this one, a nice one to get in a 10. Congrats on that one, Nick. Very cool there. So Nick grabs a couple of Gem Mints. And we end up with just under a 50% Gem Mint 10 ratio. So overall, not too bad. Only one 8 out of 25 cards submitted. And remember... If you want me to submit cards on your behalf, you just have to be a Patreon and I submit them for you at no additional cost. If you haven't done so already, throw it over to first, hit that like button for me. Would love it if you could do that to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And until next time, guys, I hope as you're out there in the wild, you have great luck finding the cards that you want to rip. And when you rip those packs, I hope you get some fire. As always, be good to your family, be good to your friends, be good to your neighbors, and most importantly, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. We'll do it again soon.